it's far from finished. And it sounds awful. And the audio amplifiers look worse. And they have an ugly LM386 chip in there. But hey, my creation is picking up WRMI. Rock and roll from Miami. <laughs> I'm discovering that I need quite a bit more gain at IF levels. Um, and I also think I'm going to need some automatic gain control because you can see shortwave stations fade in and out. But hey, it's kind of fun. Got it going today. Um, I'm going to do some more work on, like I said, IF amplification, the diode detector, and uh, try to come up with a better audio amplifier that it does not include an LM386 chip. This is just a temporary thing. That's why it's not, <laughs> it's not formally been incorporated into the receiver. But it's late afternoon. Station. Stations are coming through. Madrid was pounding in. Wow. See what I mean? It's Madrid. Anyway, progress. In my experience, when you when you're working on a receiver, you usually have to peek and tweak a lot to get it to work the way you want it. And uh, I think I'm at that phase now. I'll probably add one or two more stages of IF amplification, try to incorporate some simple automatic gain control, and then build a, a real and better non-chip <laughs> um, audio amplifier. But man, those LM386s, they pack a lot of amplification into that tiny little chip, 46 dB. Whew. That's hard to, that's hard to reproduce. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. That's it for now, 7-3.